hi guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be opening up the studio london by superdrug 24 day 24 20, i think it's 24 uh 24 day giant makeup set advent calendar um now this is on offer in studio at the not studio sorry in superdrug at the minute for 50 pounds but the regular price of it is 100 um so if you like what's in this and you want to go grab it definitely go grab it now um i don't know if it's still available online i'm not 100 percent certain because i bought mine in store um but yeah if you like what's in it and you want to go buy it i definitely suggest going to get it now um now before i jump into this unboxing don't forget subscribe to my channel leave me a little comment down below if there's any advent calendars or any other videos that you want to see me do um and also just don't forget to thumbs up this video because that always helps as well um and yeah hopefully you like what is in here now i did unbox the 12 day calendar and i love that i thought that the products were so good and i've never ever used studio pro the studio by superdrug products before i've never even really seen them about to be honest maybe i'm just not looking in the right place but i was so so impressed by that calendar so i had to had to pick this one up um but yeah so this is what it looks like it's really really pretty and it's tied up with a bow so you could even buy it for somebody and give it as a an actual christmas gift if you wanted to um or instead of buying somebody an actual christmas gift you could maybe buy them this and then they've got like 24 little products instead of one big product i guess and it's only 50 pounds so it's not breaking the bank um it is what i'm thinking about doing um with my sisters buying them this each um and then yeah but anyway guys yeah let's get into this so first off i'll just open this ribbon um which is tied very very well right there we go and then you can even keep this ribbon because it's a really good size ribbon um if you've got any projects that you want to do or even just cut it up and put it on other people's presents perfect um and then we'll get rid of this <coughs> plastic cover um and then inside we are greeted by <coughs> 6, 12, 18, 24, yep, so 24 little boxes, and it just looks like that, so yeah, I am hoping, hoping that this is as good as or better than the 12 day calendar, so yeah, let's jump in, so I've got nowhere to put it, so I'm just going to have to put it here, I know you can't see all of it, but unfortunately, I can't really do anything about that, so first up, door, or box, box number one, so I love these because it says number one on that side and then it says 24 days to go on this side. Um, so this feels quite bulked out. And in the other calendar, if you didn't see, everything was full size as well. <clears throat> so in this, we've got the eye palette. Oh, that looks really pretty. Very cool toned palette. They don't really seem as pigmented as the other calendar that I opened. But finger swatches aren't everything. Yeah, I see the shimmers aren't really picking up too much there. But maybe they'll perform better on a brush um, with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus sprayed on. So we're off to a good start with a full eyeshadow palette. And again, guys, it's full size. Um, door number two. This be a second eyeshadow palette? It is. But this time it's a very neutral palette. So it just looks like that very pretty see these ones look a little bit better than the cool tone palette but still not quite as pigmented as the 12 day calendar number three this isn't another one surely this isn't another one <laughs> it is but this time it's a very red palette very very warm tone um i'm not going to swatch everything by the way because this one feels a lot softer a lot creamier than the other two palettes and it looks a lot more vibrant as well there's the shades on my fingers and there's the shades there swatched hmm i think though three eyeshadow palettes one after the other is a little bit too much in the small calendar they were very spaced out Door number four is this one here oh not another one <laughs> okay i'm getting a little bit bored now it's a very pretty palette it's a bit pink pink and purple 
uh, I'm, do you know what? I'm not going to swatch this one because in reality, I don't think that I'll use it. So I don't want to swatch it for the sake of swatching it because I might pass that on to somebody else. Um, I mean, the full size, I'll give them that. But four palettes in the first four days. Like, hopefully this isn't just a calendar of palettes. Uh, number five. Oh, okay. So we've got a face palette this time. So we've got like um, a setting powder, a bronze, well, like a contour shade and a bronze. It's a little bit deep for me um, and my skin. So again, I'm not going to swatch it because somebody else could probably get better use out of that. Um, but yeah, so we have a contour palette. Number six is a highlighter palette. So we've got three shades. So we've got more of a bronzy goldy shade. Then like a purple iridescent shade and then like a champagne. It's got like a pink reflect to it. So it's just there. It's actually quite a nice subtle highlight. So that all the shades just look like that. They feel really creamy actually. They feel really nice. This one is probably a little bit more subtle than I would like. But I can always build it up so it's not a problem. And you can always wet your brush as well. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, but yeah, nice cute little highlighter trio so so far we've got eyes cheeks and highlight covered number seven now so this is definitely not a palette so in door number seven this feels like some sort of a spray we have got a studio london setting spray and that just looks like that so it's a nice decent size um and again if there's any products in here that you don't really like you could even just wrap them up for somebody and give them like a little makeup bundle for Christmas. Um, or keep them for Christmas uh, birthday gifts or something like that. They're very, very nice. Number eight, we've got a lip liner and a lipstick. So they are bright pink, don't have shade names. I'm not going to swatch these because again, they are not my colours. But they just look like that just nice warm pink tones um and i like that they give you a matching lip liner to go with the lipstick but yeah i'm not going to swatch them because they're not my shades so i will probably pass them on to somebody else um, and somebody can get better use than me number nine so in door number nine i think we've got another lip duo we have but this time the more nude so i will swatch these so the lip liner feels really creamy. It doesn't look full size, but then I don't know because I don't know Studio London. Um, maybe that this is full size for them. And then the lipstick, again, there's no shade names. It's more of a peach tone. The lipstick's not very pigmented. But they just look like that. So they'd be really, really pretty. You could overline your lips and make your lips look a bit more plump. And even if that's not as pigmented as you'd like, you can always like just wear it on the center of your lips. Just hit it with a bit of a highlight. So that's really pretty. Number 10 feels like some sort of a primer. Oh, so this is the illuminating primer. Is it sealed? Oh, it kind of reminds me of the MAC strobe cream. That's really pretty. It feels very much more like a lotion um, than a primer. I wouldn't say it's pore filling in any way. But if you can see, it's just added like a subtle glow to my hand. So what I like to do with these is put them on underneath foundation. Um, so any foundation that you wear becomes really, really glowy instantly. Um, and they just make it look really healthy and like a lit from within glow. Um, so you could definitely, definitely do that. Door number 11 is just this one here. So behind number 11, we have got... Oh, we've got a sponge. Oh, that feels nice and soft and squishy. It looks a little bit like the Real Techniques sponges. In fact, it looks kind of a lot like the Real Techniques sponges. And it feels really, really nice and squishy. Personally, for these kind of sponges, I like to use <clears throat> the flat side for foundation all over the face. And then I like to use the pointy tip um, underneath my eyes to get right in with the concealer. Um, I don't liquid highlight and contour and things like that, but if I was to do so, then I would definitely use um, this flat side for contour and then this pointy side for highlight. Um, and one thing that I do really like to use these for as well is like 
if I've done my contour and I feel like I've pulled it all too far down, I like to dip this part, the flat side, into um, some setting powder and then just kind of drag it along there. And it just gives you a nice sharp line. It takes out any harsh edges and it's just the perfect size to just fit in. So yeah, happy with that. And I always like to try new sponges and I go through so many sponges. So definitely, definitely appreciate a good sponge. Number 12, number 12 feels like another lip duo. Oh, it is. So we've got a lip liner and then we've got, a, is this a gloss? A oh, lip gloss. So they just look like that. Just put them there. Nice nude shades. So I'll just give them a swatch. Again, the lip liner feels really creamy. Um, I'm definitely, definitely happy to give that a go. And then the gloss doesn't have a scent, which is good. Oh, the gloss is really pigmented as well. So there you go, the liner and the gloss. Really, really pretty shades actually, like them. I just wish that they had shade names on them because obviously if these are part of the main line, I would like to buy them again if I like the products, but they don't seem to have shade names. Door number 13, so in box number 13, we have got, this feels like an unusual package. Oh, we've got some lashes, wait a sec. We've got two sets of lashes. So first off, we've got this really nice set of dainty lashes and they just come like this. So there's no outer cart and I don't know what style they are. Um, but they're just a very dainty set of lashes. They are single stacked, they're not double. Um, and yeah, they just look really, really pretty. Very kind of like everyday muted for the office or to go shopping with the girls or to dinner with the parents or something like that. So yeah, really nice and pretty. And then we've got this bigger set of lashes that are more full. They're not double stacked. I'm not gonna lie, they feel a little bit on the cheaper side. Um, however, you know 24 products for um 50 pounds you can't expect you know like fabulous expensive quality um so they just look like that and again they are single stacked and yeah they just look like that so they're a lot more full at the end here um and obviously a lot more tapered in at, on the inside so yeah really pretty and i always always enjoy to get lashes and i like trying new lashes as well uh, number 14 now. Oh, so we've got some little nail polishes. So I don't do my own nails. So these I'm not going to get any use out of. But I will pass them along to my daughter because she loves sitting and painting her nails. Um, She's only 11 and obviously she's in school and she's not allowed to wear nail polish for school. So she likes to do them on the weekend and then she'll just wash it off. So we've got this really nice bright kind of pinky kind of shade. Um, and then we've got this, like, if you can see it, it's almost like a glittery red colour. Like a deep burgundy colour. Really pretty though. Number 15. More nail polishes. Okay, so in this one we've got this, like, almost like a really, like, mauve lavender lilac shade. Um, so that's quite pretty. And then we've got this really nice, actually, like a really metallic kind of... You can't really see but like a really metallic kind of it's really not showing up on camera um let me there that's a little bit better so it's like a really nice metallic lavender shade um if i was to do my own nails this is definitely a type of shade that i would use and i only gently brushed over it i know that it's cardboard but i gently brushed over it and like look how pigmented that is i reckon two coats and that'd be perfect number 16 now so we've got something out of the box and something in the box so we've got this gold, like a green gold liquid eyeliner. Right, I'm not going to lie, it's not like an Urban Decay glitter liner, um, but it's just there if you can see it. So it's just like a clear liner um, with gold, like a greeny gold glitter inside it. Um, but it's really pretty and nice and subtle. And then we've got a mascara. It smells like a mascara, I don't know why I have to sniff everything. And there's the wand on it. So it's quite a small wand. Um, but yeah, looks like a decent mascara. We'll give that a go. And it just says it's a mascara. It doesn't say if it's for lengthening, volumising, curling or anything like that. But yeah, mascara. 
and a glitter eyeliner. Number 17. Oh, we've got a little, like a tangle teaser hairbrush kind of a thing, and it's nice and gold. It doesn't say Studio London on it, but these come in so, so handy. Um, especially like if you're in the bath or if you've got wet hair they're perfect then or even just to throw in your bag um like you're going to work or something um the bristles feel quite sturdy they don't feel like cheap bendy quality um so yeah it feels feels quite nice and it doesn't hurt your scalp when you're brushing and i really like i don't know if you can tell but like the bristles are kind of different sizes which I quite like that you can kind of see from that angle. I like that because then it gets into kind of like all of the roots of the hair. And it's a little bit different as well from makeup, I suppose. Still on the beauty spectrum. Number 18. 18? Yes, 18. Hi, number 18. We've got, oh, we've got a headband. So I love headbands. These are perfect if you're washing off your makeup or you're doing a face mask or you are putting on makeup um or if you just want to put your hair back it feels super super soft um it really really super soft and it's just in a nice black shade and it looks quite chunky as well um so yeah i really really like these and you can never ever have too much too many hair bands and it feels really stretchy as well so really happy with that number 19 okay so we've got a flannel um it's quite a long one it feels again super 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 soft it's in this nice pink shade um and you can never again you can never have enough flannels i personally like to use these to take off my makeup or my masks um so i'll obviously have my makeup on um i'll put you know i'll dampen my face put my cleanser on i use the body shop cleansing balm so i'll put that on you know melt all my makeup away give that a good rinse and then i'll go in with this make sure that all of that is off and then i'll go in with my actual cleanser um but yeah or when i put a mask on so again i'll do the same process obviously once the mask has done what it needs to do i will then dampen my face with water put some um like rinse everything off and then i'll go in with a cleanser and then i'll go in with this just to make sure that everything is removed so i'm happy with that because again you can never have enough um flannels and especially guys as well if you're a heavyweight makeup wearer like me because the forever getting stained and the forever in the wash like i can literally go through four or five of these in a week easily um and obviously if i if number 20 oh look so we've got a nice I think it's supposed to be a makeup bag. I think that's the the general gist of it. And it's got a nice, like, that plasticky white clean inside. It's nice and gold and sequin for Christmas. It's really, really cute. I'm not going to lie. My makeup would not fit in this. <laughs> um, however, if you are going out somewhere or anything like that, it could be good just to chuck, like, your lipstick, your lip gloss, I don't know, um, a little bit of setting powder maybe and a brush in there. Um, your mascara, um, just a couple of little, little essentials that you might need um, and then pop that in your bag and then that way if anything spills or leaks or anything it's going to go in there and not in the bottom of your handbag. Number 21. So we've got another little makeup bag. Um, it's the same so it's the nice white clean inside um, but this one is, is it blue? Looks blue. Um, it looks black on camera but in real life it looks quite navy um, and then it's just got the little gold tag on um, it feels like a decent quality zip it doesn't feel cheap and like it's going to break anytime soon um, but yeah and this one's a velvety one so yeah um, two makeup bags in one calendar though not too sure about that 22 so in number 22 we have got yeah so we've got a little mirror so it just opens like that i'm not gonna lie it feels very flimsy and very cheap um it's the, in this gold this metallic gold but yeah it feels very cheap um the mirror itself though looks like decent quality it doesn't make me look funky or anything like that a nice decent size throw it in your handbag your purse your pocket um, and yeah you're good to go 23 now so we have got a brow pencil um it definitely looks like a blonde eye pencil i've just gone quite sharp there and 
I don't think you can get it any deeper and then a clear brow gel so there we go so we've got the brow liner there which is not going to work on me it's okay though I can give it either to my daughter or my sister and I can just sharpen it for sanitation um but yeah it's definitely definitely not going to work on me and then we've got the clear brow shade um so yeah again no shades on it so I don't know what shades they are and then the very final door number 24 so in box number 24 we have got an eyelash curler mm, it doesn't feel the best of quality i'm not gonna lie it feels a little bit stiff and a little bit cheap um but it's just in this nice gold shade quite pretty and let's face it everybody needs eyelash curlers um so yeah so these are definitely they will get used a hundred percent but yeah and some nice pretty eyelash curlers so my thoughts on this calendar um i'm not gonna lie whilst i enjoyed it and i think for 50 pounds oh, it's worth the money a hundred pounds you get 24 products and to be fair everything is full size so i'm not gonna say that a hundred pounds is too much to pay for it however personally i preferred the 12 day calendar from studio london by superdrug um i i honestly preferred the 12 day calendar um with this as well i felt like nothing was really mixed up like you kind of you know we got four eyeshadow palettes in the first four days or maybe even five i can't remember and then we got like two face palettes one after the other in days six and seven um and then we got like all the lip products all together i kind of felt like it was too samey too samey too same i would personally have liked to see an eyeshadow palette a lip product maybe the mascara and eyeliner um and then another eyeshadow palette and then maybe i don't know the the headband and um another lip you know lip duo um and then you know maybe a face palette and then the setting spray like i would have just liked it to have just been a little bit more mixed up than it was um that being said though i do appreciate the amount of products in here because there's more than 24 products because i think there was like four different lips in fact do you know what everything is on the back here so i didn't look at this um but i, I knew it was all on the back so how many products did we get two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two so we've got thirty two products in twenty four doors for fifty pounds makes it less than a pound a product is it yeah less than a pound a product i think no less than two pound product sorry my math is terrible um but yeah so we've got 32 products inside here so it's definitely definitely worth the money and i would say if you're a makeup beginner um or if you've got a teen um then maybe go out and buy this calendar i think for the price point though if you're an adult looking to get a beauty advent calendar i would recommend um the asos advent calendar or even the boohoo calendar or the pretty little thing calendar um however it, it is good value for money i don't really know what to say i'm conflicted i am very conflicted with this calendar because although i liked it i didn't like it as much as the 12 day calendar i felt like the 12 day calendar had the am right amount of products in it i felt like it spaced them all out well um but this one it just felt a lot like you know i don't want to see four eyeshadow palettes on the first four days and then two face palettes on the second you know in days five and six and then no other eyeshadow palettes for the rest of the calendar um so i just feel like they could have spaced it out a little bit more that being said though i did like the calendar i don't know why i'm holding an empty box up um but that being said i did like the calendar overall anyway guys what are your thoughts on this calendar please let me know down below in the comments um and also if there's any other advent calendars that you want to see me open let me know and if i can still get my hands on them i definitely will um and yeah don't forget to subscribe ring the bell and thumbs up this video because that always helps anyway guys i'll see you in the next one thanks bye